This is the Airbus A321XLR, the longest range single aisle aircraft ever built, capable of flying up to 4,700 nautical miles or 8,700 kilometers without refueling, a feat previously unthinkable for a narrow body jet. As the world's first narrow body aircraft designed to fly transcontinental routes without compromise, the A321XLR can fly farther than some wide bodies, marking the culmination of decades of Airbus innovation, beginning with the original A320 in the 1980s. Building on the success of the A321neo and A321LR, Airbus introduced the A321XLR in 2019 to push the boundaries of what a single aisle jet can achieve. By adding additional fuel tanks and optimizing aerodynamics, Airbus created a narrow body aircraft that promises to replace wide bodies on many long haul routes. But can it truly replace wide bodies on long haul routes, offering the same comfort and performance passengers have come to expect? Or is it simply too much to ask of a single aisle aircraft? Stay with us till the end of the video, because here is everything you need to know about the Airbus A321XLR. Stepping inside, the A321XLR retains the cross-sectional fuselage dimensions of the A320 family, with a cabin width of 12 feet 1 inch or 3.7 meters at floor level, and an internal cabin height of 7 feet 4 inches or 2.25 meters. These dimensions ensure a familiar feel for passengers accustomed to the A320 series, though some might notice the narrower width compared to wide-body jets on long-haul flights. Despite being a narrow body, the cabin's proportions are optimized to avoid a claustrophobic feel, especially with the clever use of lighting and space. The typical cabin layout varies significantly depending on the airline's configuration. However, a common layout features a two-class arrangement with approximately 180 to 220 seats. For example, an airline might configure the aircraft with 16 to 24 lie flat seats in business class and 160 to 200 seats in economy. There's also potential for a premium economy section, which some airlines might introduce for longer routes. The cabin flexibility allows for various seating configurations. The standard economy seats generally maintain the A320 family's standard width of 18 inches or 45 centimeters. A slight advantage over the 17-inch or 43-centimeter width found in the Boeing 737 series. However, pitch and comfort vary depending on airline choices. Economy class usually sees a seat pitch between 29 and 32 inches or 73 and 80 centimeters. Though some airlines may offer more legroom in a premium economy section with pitches around 35 to 37 inches or 88 to 93 centimeters. Business class, particularly on long-haul routes, often features lie-flat seats in a staggered 2-2 or 1-1 configuration with individual seat pitches exceeding 60 inches or 150 centimeters that can typically extend into a fully flat bed, making the A321XLR competitive with wide-body jets in terms of premium seating comfort. Now, let's talk about storage. The overhead bins are among the most spacious in the narrow-body market thanks to the integration of the airspace cabin design. These bins are 40% larger than those on earlier A320 models, offering enough space for each passenger to stow a standard size carry-on. In terms of in-flight entertainment systems, the A321XLR is typically equipped with Airbus's latest IFEs, depending on the airline's preference. This can include seat back screens with high definition displays, USB ports, and AC power outlets across all classes, and the airspace cabin design also supports wireless streaming. Connectivity is another strong suit, with most aircraft equipped with high-speed Wi-Fi thanks to satellite-based systems, which enable continuous internet access even on transcontinental flights, and the entertainment systems are typically paired with modern interfaces, offering a range of movies, TV shows, music, and other content, often updated regularly. The aircraft features full LED lighting throughout the cabin with customizable mood lighting as part of the airspace cabin design, which can simulate natural daylight or nighttime environments, helping to reduce the effects of jet lag by aligning with the flight's time zones. The dynamic lighting is also used to enhance boarding, dining, and relaxation phases of the flight. One of the most significant advantages of the A321XLR over earlier single aisle jets is its reduced noise levels. Powered by new generation engines, 
The aircraft operates with significantly lower noise levels, both inside the cabin and externally, and the advanced acoustic treatments and materials used in the cabin help dampen vibrations and minimize engine noise. Airbus has equipped the A321XLR with advanced pressurization systems, maintaining a cabin altitude equivalent to approximately 6,000 feet, which is a significant improvement over older generation aircraft, which had cabin altitudes closer to 8,000 feet. The air circulation system is another area where Airbus has innovated. The cabin air is refreshed every two to three minutes, with HEPA filters removing 99.9% .9 of airborne particles, including viruses and bacteria. Additionally, the airflow is designed to move vertically rather than horizontally, reducing the spread of contaminants and maintaining consistent air quality throughout the flight. And finally, the lavatories are another step up from previous models, especially in the airspace cabin configuration. Lavatories feature touchless controls, antimicrobial surfaces, and ambient lighting. The lavatories increase size and improved amenities, such as larger mirrors and better lighting, create an enhanced passenger experience, especially on longer flights. Now, let's step into the cockpit. The A321XLR's flight deck is designed to be nearly identical to other A320neo family aircraft, which allows for straightforward pilot transitions across the family with minimal additional training. Thanks to the same type rating, Key features include the signature Airbus side stick controllers, dual EFIS with six large LCD screens, and the eCam system that consolidates warnings, alerts, and systems data, while the side stick controllers provide a fly-by-wire interface, offering intuitive handling and reducing pilot workload. The A321XLR is equipped with a state-of-the-art avionics suite that supports its extended range and complex operational needs. The Thales and Honeywell avionics systems form the core of the flight deck, integrating a wide range of functions to enhance situational awareness, navigation precision, and system reliability. The FMS is a critical component that assists pilots in managing the aircraft's trajectory, optimizing fuel consumption, and ensuring precise navigation. The A321XLR uses the latest version of the Honeywell FMS, which supports advanced RNP capabilities including RNPR approaches that allow for tight and curved paths in challenging terrain, reducing fuel burn and noise impact. The FMS is also designed to handle the extended range of the A321XLR with enhanced fuel management and route optimization features that are particularly valuable on long haul missions. Pilots can program complex flight plans, including step climbs, ETOPS routes, and multiple alternates directly into the FMS. Airbus has integrated an advanced EFB system directly into the cockpit design, which allows pilots to access digital charts, manuals, and operational data directly from the flight deck. The EFB is connected to real-time data sources, enabling dynamic updates during flight, such as weather information and notamass. The EFB also supports performance calculations, helping pilots determine optimal takeoff and landing parameters. The cockpit is equipped with a comprehensive communication suite, including VHF, HF, and satellite communications, and fully equipped for CPDLC, which allows text-based communication with air traffic control. The avionics also support ADSB, which enhances situational awareness by providing real-time traffic information to pilots. The navigation suite is built around dual GPS receivers, backed by an IRS to provide high-precision navigation data. The aircraft is equipped with advanced GNSS capabilities, supporting multi-constellation inputs, GPS, GLONASS, Galileo. The avionics also include dual DME, dual VOR receivers, and ILS capability. With the A321XLR's extended range, ETOPS operations are a key focus. The navigation systems are certified for ETOPS up to 180 minutes, and in some cases, up to 240 minutes. The FMS integrates ETOP-specific functions, such as the automatic calculation of critical fuel points and diversion airports. A noteworthy option is the EFVS, which uses infrared cameras to provide pilots with a clear view of the runway environment in low visibility conditions. The EFVS is projected onto the head-up display and can significantly improve landing capabilities, especially at airports where fog, rain, or other adverse conditions are frequent. 
The A321 XLR is equipped with a highly advanced autopilot system that supports full Category 3B auto land capabilities, which allows for automatic landings in extremely low visibility conditions with no decision height. This system works in conjunction with dual redundant ILS receivers and the aircraft's auto throttle, ensuring smooth and precise landings even in challenging weather. The autopilot also integrates advanced flight envelope protections, a hallmark of Airbus's fly-by-wire design. These protections prevent the aircraft from exceeding its design limits, reducing the risk of pilot-induced errors. For long-haul missions, the autopilot can manage complex flight profiles, including multiple altitude changes, without requiring constant input from the flight crew. Central to the cockpit and handling characteristics is the Airbus fly-by-wire system, which replaces traditional mechanical controls with electronic signals, which not only reduces weight, but also introduces advanced flight envelope protections that guard against pilot errors such as stalls, overspeed, or excessive bank angles. The fly-by-wire system is mature and proven, having been refined since its introduction on the A320. Pilots benefit from a consistent and predictable control feel, regardless of external conditions. The flight control laws, normal, alternate, direct, and mechanical backup, ensure that the aircraft remains controllable even in degraded situations. And finally, talking about safety, the aircraft is equipped with the latest TCAS and TAWS, both of which are tightly integrated into the cockpit displays, and the SVS further enhances situational awareness by providing a three-dimensional representation of the terrain on the primary flight display, even in poor visibility. Now let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The Airbus A321XLR is powered by the same new generation engines as the A321neo, but with enhancements that support its extended range and higher payload capabilities. Airlines can choose between two engine options, the Pratt & Whitney PW1133 GJM and the CFM International Leap 1A. Both engines are part of the high-bypass geared turbofan family, known for their significant improvements in fuel efficiency, noise reduction, and emissions compared to previous generation engines. The Pratt & Whitney PW1133 GJM is a geared turbofan engine that delivers up to 33,000 pounds of thrust. Its innovative gearbox allows the fan to operate at a slower speed than the low-pressure compressor and turbine, which increases the engine's overall efficiency. This results in a fuel consumption reduction of approximately 16% compared to earlier models like the CFM56, a key factor in the plane's ability to achieve long-range performance. The PW1133GJM also features advanced materials such as ceramic matrix composites and a smaller, more efficient core, contributing to both weight savings and durability. The CFM Leap 1A engine is another high-bypass turbofan designed for the A321XLR, offering thrust levels up to 35,000 pounds. It incorporates cutting-edge technology, including composite fan blades, three-dimensional printed components, and advanced cooling techniques for the turbine blades, which enhance thermal efficiency and reduce fuel burn. The Leap 1A engine offers similar fuel efficiency gains to the PW1133GJM, with a focus on reliability and low maintenance costs. The A321XLR is distinguished not just by its advanced engines, but by a series of performance metrics that position it as a leader in the single aisle, long haul market. Starting with its takeoff capabilities, the aircraft requires a minimum takeoff distance of approximately 8,200 feet or 2,500 meters at MTO, which is slightly longer than that of the A321neo due to the increased weight but remains within the operational limits of most international airports. The higher MTW of 101 metric tons, or 223,000 pounds, supports additional fuel and payload, and with a payload of up to 24 metric tons, or 53,000 pounds, the aircraft can carry a significant amount of cargo or passengers while still achieving its impressive range. The engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of 2,200 feet, or 670 meters during the initial climb phase at maximum weight, a strong performance for a narrowbody jet, a maximum cruising altitude of 39,800 feet or 12,100 meters, and a maximum cruise speed of Mach 0.82, equivalent to approximately 470 knots. 
But the A321XLR's most remarkable performance metric is its maximum range. The aircraft is capable of flying up to 4,700 nautical miles, which is 5,408 miles or 8,700 kilometers without the need for refueling. This range allows the plane to operate routes such as New York to Rome, Delhi to London, or Sydney to Tokyo, markets that were previously out of reach for single-aisle aircraft. This capability is achieved largely thanks to the additional rear center tank and two additional center tanks, which increase fuel capacity by nearly 3,400 gallons or 12,900 liters over the standard A321neo, bringing the total fuel capacity to approximately 10,500 gallons or 40,000 liters. And finally, the plane typically requires a landing distance of around 6,500 feet or 1,980 meters at maximum landing weight, which is relatively short for an aircraft of its size and range. And finally, the base purchase price for a new Airbus A321XLR is $150 million before options. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.